Welcome to RK Tutorials. Solutions to Engineering Mechanics Problems by S. Timishenko. In this tutorial, we will discuss the solution to problem set 2.3, problem number 2.38. A weight 100 newtons hangs by an inextensible string from a fixed point A. The string is drawn out of the vertical by applying a force 50 newtons to the weight at B as shown in the figure. In what direction this force must be applied in order that in equilibrium the direction of the string from the vertical may have its greatest value. What is the amount of greatest deflection? Find also the tension in the string. That means there is a string AB and a weight 100 newtons acts at B. 50 newtons force is acting in this direction. Now our interest is to find the value of alpha so that the beta is maximum and also what is the value of this beta and what is the tension in the string. These are the three parameters that we need to solve. By considering the free body diagram of the system at point B, we can see that there are three forces acting at B. One is the self weight downwards of 100 newtons. Another one is the force, applied force 50 newtons. And the another one is the tension in the string that is along the string and it is away from the point of interest. Now the first force as we discussed the weight 100 newtons. Next one is the applied force 50 newtons and next one the force along the string that is yes. Now let us transfer all these three forces onto a separate xy plane for easy analysis. First I am transferring this 100 newtons force, 50 newtons force and the tension along the string that is yes. Next we need to identify the angles between the various forces. Clearly it is given that the string s makes an angle beta with the vertical. That means this angle is equals to beta. So this angle is beta. Angle between tension in the string and 50 newtons force is alpha. So this angle is alpha. By observing this free body diagram, we can see all three forces are concurrent because all three forces are meeting at a particular point and all three forces are divergent. So we can apply the sign rule. Now according to the sign rule, the force, let us say 100 newtons, the 100 newtons force divided by sign of angle between the other two forces that is S and 50, it is given that it is alpha. So we can say it is 100 divided by sin alpha is equal to 50 divided by angle between S and 100 newtons. Clearly we can see this angle is 90 degrees and what about this angle? This angle is 90 minus beta because this angle is given as beta. So this is 90 minus beta. Hence angle between S yes and 100 becomes 90 plus 90 minus beta which is equal to 180 minus beta. So it is 50 divided by sin 180 minus beta. But we know very well that sin 180 minus beta is equal to sin beta. Hence it is written that 50 divided by sin beta. And E force yes divided by angle between the two forces 100 and 50. How much is that angle? Clearly we can see of course this is 90 degrees. Our interest is to find this angle. How to find this angle? The total angle is given as alpha. 
and this angle is given as beta so you can say that this angle this angle is alpha minus beta because the total angle is alpha and this angle is beta hence this angle is alpha minus beta hence what about this angle this angle 90 minus of alpha minus beta then i want this angle now so this angle i can say 90 plus 90 minus of alpha minus beta or it becomes 180 minus of 180 alpha minus beta and sine 180 minus alpha minus beta is equal to sine alpha minus beta hence i have written is yes divided by sine alpha minus beta now once you wrote this expression you can take these two expressions 100 by sin alpha is equal to 50 by sin beta and after uh, this cross multiplication and simplifying you will get sin alpha is equal to 2 into sin beta or you can say sin beta is equal to sin alpha by 2. Now our interest is to see that this beta value is maximum. I want to see that beta value is maximum. In order to see that the beta value is maximum, so this value should be maximum. When this sin alpha by 2 is maximum, it is maximum only when alpha is equal to 90. So for the beta is to be maximum, alpha value must be 90, then only the beta value will be maximum because sin 90 has the maximum value. Now, once you know that alpha is equal to 90 and you can substitute there, so sin 90 is equal to 2 into sin beta or beta is equal to 30 degrees. Then take these two expressions. S is equal to 100 into sin alpha minus beta by sin alpha. But alpha is equal to 90, sin alpha is equal to, uh, sin alpha is equal to 1. So, you can say it is 100 into sin alpha minus beta and you know alpha is equal to 90, beta is equal to 30 and after substituting these values and upon solving, you will get the value S is equal to 86.6 newtons. Hence, the answers are alpha is equal to 90, beta is equal to 30 and S is equal to 86.6 newtons.